How's it going guys? It's Paul. I've just got my rental car. I've just arrived in Perth, Western Australia. So now we're going to be looking at a bunch of properties and hopefully show you guys around Perth. And uh, yeah, just make some more content and more videos. And this is the suburb of Aurelia. And median house price here sits... Well, house price what I saw ranges between 400 to 550k for houses. Units, probably somewhere in the lower end, 400k. So this is one of the more... Um, outer ring suburbs of Perth. This is close to Wellard, I would say. And generally, outer ring suburbs tend not to gain from capital growth, but as we've seen in the past couple of years, seeing a lot of housing value go up. So we're just gonna suss it out, check out this housing market here. So this is a fairly quiet suburb. This is what you'd expect to see in some of the more outer ring suburbs of Perth. Delinquent kids walking around, just uh, doing some graffiti. Um, I I didn't really get the footage. I wasn't recording at the time, but as we were driving, as I was driving through, I just noticed that in this area. So those are some things to keep in mind, like crime rates, um, amenities, and just demographics of the local area. All these different suburbs. Next suburb I plan on going to would be Wellard. It's to your right here in this footage, you're going to see a bunch of I think these are units or villas, and these are generally priced at around 400k, 450k range. Oh, and on your, on your left side here, I'm just going to park here while I set up. So these properties are probably being on rent for about the $400 per week range, but I've seen some go up to about $500 per week, so that's something to think about. Alright, so according to Ray WA, so just 3WA is basically a real estate website that co covers investment property prices. Uh, it shows you buyer data, purchase data, seller's data, and just um, quick stats on specific suburbs. So median house price in Wellard is 493k, and median rental per week is 577 per week. So yeah, so going down further, suburb prices for a house to buy is 492k, rent 577 per week. Units you can actually buy for 300k, a two, 270, no, 227k for two bedroom, 225k for a three bedroom, which doesn't make sense. Probably stuffed up the data there. And rents 420 per week. So these units are around about between the 250 to 400k mark. I don't see some of these going for less than 200k to be honest. So right now we're in Wellard area. So again, Wellard Village. So I'm just gonna go left here. There's a bunch of these units here that I've seen on sale. Some ranging from 300 to 400K. These are some of the ones that you may want to be interested in going for, simply because there isn't an oversupply of apartments within these areas or where they're being developed. And there's generally high restrictions and you're not going to be faced with competing with other sellers or investors. And if you're looking for that capital growth in those key locations, you want to be buying in these locations where there's a lot of buyer demand. Most of these developments seem to have that little frontage, like a brick or masonry uh, fence or facade that separates the property from the public area. See that's houses. These houses are tiny. I've seen some of these being sold last year for 320k, but now around this time, 2024 June, I've seen some sell as high as 450.
Because I was talking to a couple of people uh, that I know within the Perth area who are looking to buy their own first property, and they're always com like every inspection or every established property. They're trying. To com they're just essentially competing against people that are from interstate or buyers agents who are always who are on FaceTime or just on a video call with their clients, and they've noticed that there's at least half of the people doing the inspections are from the eastern states or are buyers agents essentially. So that's what's going on in Perth right now. Okay. I'm going to show you these properties. So these are probably definitely somewhere within the 600 plus range. Again, it could be wrong, but small blocks, decent looking houses, these three in front of us. Overall, well, that's a pretty decent suburb, fairly quiet, fairly affordable if you're close to a six figure income. If you're on like 50k, 60k a year, yeah, you're probably going to struggle getting a decent house. Maybe you can get a unit if you get a good deal with a broker or a bank. Uh, 